Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. Welcome to another video. This time I'd like to show you my new everyday carry camera bag, my new favorite everyday carry camera bag, or actually have two bags. These are the Wattencraft Pilot 7 liter bag and Wattencraft Pilot 3.5 liter bag. And I've been now using these every day for about three months and I'm finally ready to share my impressions. But first a disclaimer, Wattencraft sent these bags to me, but they did not ask me to make a video. They just asked me to try out these bags. But I decided to make this video because I really, really like these bags. And I thought this might be useful for you if you're looking for a new camera bag. In the Wattencraft Pilot the back lineup, these two backs are sort of in the middle. There is one back smaller than this. It's a two liter back. This is three and a half. And then there's one back bigger than this. It's a 10 liter back. This is seven liters. So there is a back for pretty much every purpose or every situation. I'm going to put a link to Wattencraft website homepage down below so you can explore all their products. It's not an affiliate link. I get nothing from it. It's just there so you can take a look if you can find something that interests you. According to Wattencraft website, the material is military grade Cordura and it certainly feels very high quality and uh, durable and all that. And these bags can also take light rain. But when you look at the design, it's quite obvious that these bags are not designed for any kind of super harsh conditions. Just out of curiosity, I also made a little shower test. I put this smaller bag into a shower for three minutes. And while the back pocket that was facing the waterfall was moist inside, the main compartment was still dry after three minutes in that downpour. And if there was a camera inside, it would have survived. On one of my photo walks in Kuala Lumpur, I also got a major load of bird crap on this, this back. And unfortunately, I was too busy to clean the back on the spot. I forgot to take any pictures or b-roll of that incident. However, when I got back home, I took a little bit of water and a sponge and I brushed it uh, thoroughly and it all came off nicely and now it looks like new again. So the surface is uh, quite uh, easy to clean just in case you get some dirt or even bird crap on it. This smaller three and a half liter bag is big enough for a normal sized camera body with a lens attached to it. And then there is some more room for a smaller camera or another lens or some extra small accessories that you may want to take with you. The front pocket can then take your spare batteries, maybe extra cables, memory cards or something similar. Then the back pocket is a little bit more safe and secure. You can put uh, maybe your house keys in there or your passport or whatever you want to keep a little bit more safe. This bigger 7 liter bag can take two camera bodies with lenses attached to them or one camera body and several lenses. It's quite roomy inside here, but of course it's a 7 liter bag and there's only so much that you can fit in 7 liters. The front pocket is similar to the, the smaller bag, but the front pocket in this model it has also some smaller pockets or sub pockets inside. So if you have, uh, for example, camera batteries, they are not floating around here. You can actually put them in the, into these smaller pockets inside this big pocket. And this bigger bag also has a pocket at both ends of the bag, so you can fit some accessories here. The back pocket is also similar to the smaller bag and uh, you can put some 
things here that you want to keep extra safe and secure. The shoulder strap and the pad on the strap has got to be one of the best I have ever seen. Because the inner surface of the pad is quite sticky and it's not slipping off your shoulder even if you're holding the back on just one shoulder. Another super nice feature are these rotating joints at both ends of the shoulder strap because these keep the strap always nice and straight no matter how you wear this back or how you put this on this back the shoulder strap is always nice and straight it's not like twisted like this never another really nice feature is this magnetic latch on the flap it's very easy to close and very easy to open but you have to know how to open it. So, for example, if someone wants to open it for you behind your back, maybe in a public transport or somewhere in public, it's not so easy unless you know how to do it. So I think it's pretty safe and secure, but it's also very nice and convenient to operate. I almost forgot. There is a space between the the outside pocket and the main body of the bag and you can maybe transport a small tripod or a monopod or something in here and also there's another pocket here a zipper pocket here for some accessories like memory cards cables or whatever so this bag has uh, quite a few pockets and compartments this seven liter version also comes with this removable divider inside here so if you have a tablet you can have a nice little compartment here for your tablet i've taken this divider out because i don't own a tablet and when i take this out i can have a little bit more room for my cameras inside the back i also find both these Wattencraft pilot bags three and a half liter seven liter very comfortable to carry and pretty much as comfortable as a shoulder bag can get of course a backpack is always nicer if you have to hike or walk a long long distance but you can't beat a shoulder bag if you need a quick access to your gear and that's why i prefer a shoulder bag whenever i'm photo walking or doing something similar or when i'm out there making my youtube videos Wattencraft also has these add-on pocket modules that you can use to expand your camera back temporarily for example if you all of a sudden need a little bit more uh, gear with you you can attach one of these to your back and expand it or you can use these as a standalone small shoulder back and you can even attach many of these to each other's and create pretty much as many combinations as you can imagine for different purposes. The first time I even saw pictures of these two bags or any of the pilot series bags, I knew I am probably going to like these bags because I like this, uh, um, what do you call, a uh, messenger type of um, look and um, these don't really shout out camera bag. Of course, you can guess this could be a camera bag, but it's not the obvious camera bag. These are the two available colors, charcoal black and khaki brown. When I first saw the pictures, I thought I'm going to like this black charcoal black more than this khaki brown. But now after using these bags, I think I prefer this brown more. And I think after this gets a little bit of patina, after maybe years of use, I think this is going to look better than the black one. I think these Wattencraft Pilot series bags are definitely worth a look if you are in the market for a new camera bag and if you like this style and design. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, please do consider buying me a cup of coffee. There's a link down below if you don't live in Finland. Thanks so much and I'll definitely see you soon in the next video.